Hello, this is Gio, and hey, look what we have here. We have this uh, electronic keyboard. This is a Yamaha Clavinova keyboard. It is modeled CLP920. There's a number of uh, different models out there, but uh, this one's relatively common. And it generally still works. It kind of pulled it out of the garage, but it does have an issue we have to take care of today. And here you go, the keyboard's exposed here, and you can kind of see there's some stuck keys here that are not really working. They're not springing up. When they do spring up, you push them down and they just kind of stick. A uh, couple of them sound like they may actually be off their track, like this one right here. There's something more happening there than just a sticky keyboard. But it's really time to uh, expose this keyboard and at least clean uh, the gunk in between. Maybe something spilled in between and now it's not really working very well. Or at least kind of fix these kind of off-center keys that don't seem to be in place correctly. Okay, so we're just going to start off from the back here by removing these three Phillips screws. One, two, and then three. Okay, and from there we're just going to kind of move this top piece forward until it fully is removed. And then just slide out uh, the little cover so we can see what's happening behind. And so this is the interior of the keyboard. Uh, we still have to remove a number of screws before we can uh, get access to the keys. But I can already see what at least one of the issues are. Now zooming in, you can see right there, this key has broken. These ones are okay. You can kind of see the functionality. You hit that and a little plunger comes up. But this, that one's broken. This one's broken. I could at least see three, four. There are at least four. Here, let me zoom out. There are at least four that are broken. So we're going to have to expose these, get those things out, and see if we can order more keys. All right, so the next thing we want to do is get rid of this little cover here. And as you can see, they kind of slide on this little track here with this gear right here, this one right there, and then there's another one on the other side. Now, um, you can't just shimmy these things out, but if you kind of look on either side, uh, you will see, if I could zoom in here, a little screw right there. Uh, you take that out and it will pull out a little, a little notch on either side. We're going to do that, expose that, and then you can slip them right out. There's a little hole here. Keep these together. I'll do the other side. And then with that, this should just slip right out, just like that, and you can remove the whole thing. So the next thing we want to do is remove this little cover here, and we do that. You see these little metal pieces here that are attaching them. There's uh, two screws there two screws there, so two, four, six, eight, ten screws. So we're going to remove all these ten screws. So with the ten screws out, there's still one more screw at the end here we have to remove. We'll remove that one, and there's the other side does not have one, so it's just this one. We'll remove that, and with that, Everything should come out freely. Now, this little um, control panel here has some wires, so I'm just I'm not going to unplug the wires. I'm just going to kind of move back this whole thing, so it's just kind of leaning like this for now. And so with that out, you can kind of see that these broken keys are just kind of being pushed up. There's a little spring behind them and there's nothing that's holding them in place. And so we need to be able to remove these keys. We need to be able to bring the keys forward and uh, this little wood part is preventing that. So what we need to do is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine screws to be removed there. There's also one small one there and one small one there. So ten, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven screws all together. So we're going to remove all these screws. Okay, so with those eleven screws removed, I should be able to just to kind of move this whole thing a little bit back. I don't want to push it too far back. That's it. There we go. Everything's loose. Am I missing something? I think I'm missing something. There we go. Just kind of wiggle it just a little bit back. Might be a little stuck, so you just kind of have to work it. And so I'm j I just moved it back literally like maybe a half an inch. Okay, so with that, I'm going to show you how to remove the keys. Now, if we zoom in, I'll get some light here. You actually see a little D with an arrow. Let's see if I can zoom in even farther. So a little D with an arrow. Now this D means it's the D key. Like this one's a C key, this one's the B key. And so uh, the arrow key will kind of show you the direction of arrow. You're going to insert a knife into there push down and move the key forward. So I'll sh do that next. Okay, to show you how to remove these keys. Now this is right here, this is a D key. Uh, and so you're just gonna go to the D, you find the arrow, and you're gonna press it down and then kind of push with your finger on the other side. And there, it'll pop out and then you just carefully bring it back up just like that. Now to replace it, well, before I do that, I want to zoom in on this little spring here. Now this spring, there. Okay, now this spring is in, no problem. But if it weren't in, let's say you took it out and it actually got out, it might be loose like this, and it might just be just like that. And it basically goes into this little plastic, uh, white little plunger down here, to replace it, you just take it, the fork, you put it into the, the little white plunger groove down below and, until it kind of stops like that. And then you're just going to kind of bend it back until it gets under this little plastic ridge like that. And there it's back in place. So to replace the D key, you're going to kind of fit this little fork here into this right here. You're just going to let it just sit just like that until it's loose. And then you're going to kind of make sure that the spring gets in this little groove here. It's pretty easy, it just it's like that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to kind of press down with your thumb and then push also a little bit like that. But you're also going to press down here. Now you want it a little bit back. Again, you had to press it back this way to get it out. So you don't want to just press it straight down. Again, you could break the keys if you do that. So you want to start back again, kind of push it a little farther back like this, push down, kind of push down like that, and then push forward. There should be a little click. Now let's do that again real quick. So again, you're going to just slide it in, push it down a little bit like this, and then push forward while pushing down here and pushing this way. And there you go, that's how it's done. Now if you want to remove a black key, what you first have to do is we'll remove the, 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 um, the D key again. Let's remove the C key. You have to, there's no spring, or excuse me, there's no little, uh, uh, little lever that you have to push down for the black, but you do have to remove either white key on either side of it. And then this will just come straight out, just like that. And then to re replace it, you're, there's a little hook here that you're hooking down to a little white piece down there. And you just kind of hook it up like that. It'll kind of loosely fit and it won't be tight until you get every, all the rest of the keys in place. Oops, that's a magnet. There you go. Okay, so unfortunately, I need to replace 
a whole six keys. Uh, let's see, three of them are E's, one B, uh, actually two are B's, three are E's, and one is a D. And so I have to order these to make sure that you can see that, well, all these are, uh, all the B's and E's are the same shape. So, uh, but the D is definitely a different shape. So I have to make sure I could see if I can find these. And each one of these are cracked, unfortunately, and I cannot use them. So I'll go ahead and order some to see if I can find them, and we'll get back to this video later. Okay, it looks like I have to wait for some keys to come in. In the meantime, I will clean up all these keys, uh, replace them, and then just uh, when I get the new keys, I will put them in. And you just uh, put everything back together again in reverse order. Um, just as simple as that. Well, I hope this video helped you out, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.